All right, let's pray. How do we pray? Hands together. Close your eyes. Shh, no talking. All right, let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you that the children can learn from your word. And also I pray, Lord, that you bless them later as they have some fun together. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Good. Okay. Who remembers what we learned last week? Maybe only Simon does. You guys remember? Are you guys paying attention? At the front here? Paying attention? What is pay attention? Eyes up here. You can see your eyes, Ari? Where are you looking? Up here, up here. Good, good, good. What did we learn last week? Do you remember? Ruth. About Ruth. That's right. What was one of the good virtues of Ruth? Who remembers? Working hard like an ant. Very good. See how the ant's working nice and hard. It's pushing this big rock up. So you want to be a hard worker as well, don't you? You don't want to be lazy. We need to be hard workers. When we do a job, we do it well, don't we? All right? So we're going to be like the ant. This week, well, this was last week's verse. Let's read it together. Ruth, chapter 3, verse 11. And now, my daughter... Fear not, I will do to thee all that thou requirest, for all the city of my people doth know that thou art a virtuous woman. Right, Ruth was a very hard-working woman, wasn't she? Remember, she was collecting up all the food. And this week, whoa, we're going to learn about winning this week. Winning with God. Who likes winning? <laughs> well, today... You might have, some of you are going to have a chance to win and play some game. We've got a new game over here. I bet you guys are wondering what we're going to play over there. Well, you'll find out. But first, we're going to learn a little bit about God. Winning with God. What's our memory verse for this week? Memory verse for this week? 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. Look at this. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Excuse me. No talking now, okay? No talking. All right, let's read it together. You ready? First Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. Oh, so this one's a little bit, they're getting a bit harder, aren't they, to memorize? You can't just memorize it on the spot now. No, you have to actually do some work during the week if you want to earn those gems. All right, and once Victor gets a little bit more organized, we'll get your Bible memorization books to you. Okay? All right? Hey, you two, excuse me, you have to stop playing, okay? Pay attention. All right? Okay, winning with God, winning. Who likes winning? I like winning. You guys don't like winning? Do you like winning? Don't like winning. Maybe that's why you guys aren't trying very hard in the games. Don't like winning. <laughs> no, I think you like winning. I think we all like winning, because when we play in the games, everyone's trying their hardest <laughs> to win, aren't they? To get the prize. So what are some ways you can win in life? What are some ways? How are they winning here? Simon? Playing chess. <laughs> playing chess. Well, you can be playing a game like we're playing later, right? You can be playing a board game. That's one way you can win, right? When you beat the other person at the game. What's another way we can win? Who knows this guy's name? Does anyone know this guy's name? Do you remember, Simon? <laughs> Usain Bolt? What's another way we can win? What do you guys think? Come on, Simon, the only one that knows in here? Race. Yeah, running a race. So you can run a race. Run, 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 run really fast. That's another way you can win if you run faster than the others. Right, that's another way you can win. What's another way you can win? <laughs> is this error? Hit down, Hit down the pin, yeah. And kids club games, that's one way you can win. This photo was a couple of years ago, wasn't it? This was uh, almost this was three years ago. Like all the, the boys are looking a little shorter, a little chubbier. 
<laughs> Do you recognize this one, Atticus? You know who that is? Who's that? Simon. That's Simon in there. So you can win at Kids Club Games, hey? It's another way you can win. So sometimes in life when you win, it's whoever's stronger, faster, smarter, things like that. Okay, what's another way we can win? I don't even know this one. What do you think this is? What's another way you can win in life? Sometimes smart people do this. What do you think, Simon? Betting? I think this is betting. <laughs> Some people win that way too when they put money down on something and they bet the right way. They may, may win some money. But this is a different one I was thinking about. You guys may be a bit too young for this one. You win in business. Business. Business is when you, yeah, you're trying to make some money. Maybe you go for a job and you get a job. When you're a bit older, you understand. This one will become very important. <laughs> right, Simon? You'll probably get into that age soon. What's another way we can win? Ah, oh, everyone knows this one. All the boys put their hand up. Okay, Timothy, what's another way you can win? Winning a fight. Winning a fight. That's right, winning a battle. And that was the one the verse was talking about, right? Winning a battle where you fight with sword and with spears and with armor. Look at these guys. These guys are winning. So they're what? Ah, yeah. <laughs> That's another way you can win. Here is a photo from. Well, it's a bit hard to see with the white. This is a photo from. Where do you think it's from? Oh, you know. Oh, there you How did you know? You're just guessing. guessing. You're just guessing. Well, good, good, good guess. Yeah, there's two world wars. So this one was from World War One. As far as I understand, this was a Russian. Army after they won and they were celebrating. So, or well maybe it was in Russia. I don't know if it was the Russian army or whether they were in Russia, but you can see here they, now they don't have sword and spear anymore. That's the tanks. They're sitting on their tanks, very different weapons when they were fighting in World War II. All right, so there's different ways to win in life, isn't there? And generally in life, the way you win is you have to be faster, smarter, stronger. But how do you win in the spiritual battle? In the spiritual battle, how do we win? We have our sword, the sword of the spirit, and who gives us our power? How are we going to defeat, ooh, who's this? This is an artist drawing of, who do you think that is? Who do you think it is? Satan, our enemy. So when you want to fight in a physical battle, sometimes you need physical weapons, like the guys lifting up their swords, and we need the spiritual weapons. How do we defeat all the things that Satan is going to throw at us in this world? So Satan doesn't always throw physical things at us. Sometimes he tricks us by believing the wrong things, right? Believing on false things, not believing God. So how do we beat Satan in this world? Who knows? Anyone down take a guess? Very good. See, that's generally the right answer to everything, isn't it? See, we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, he died for us, didn't he? On the cross, took all our sin. And all we have to do is we have to put our faith in him. We just have to believe on Jesus. And when we believe on Jesus, we overcome all the lies of the devil. The lies of the devil saying you can work your way to heaven, or believing in a wrong God, saying that Jesus is not God. But when we put our faith on Jesus, that's how we can overcome the devil. We can win the spiritual battle. We know one day Jesus will be ruling and reigning, won't he? Okay, so many ways to win, but this is the one we want to make sure we win. Right? We believe on Jesus Christ. You guys like winning, right? <laughs> Make sure we believe on Jesus. All right, let's read our memory verse again. So remember what this is talking about. This is saying, God doesn't always save with sword and spear. Okay, because sometimes we win not with sword and spear, but we win because Jesus. All right, we have Jesus with us. For the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. This is how we can win. We win with God, not just with our own might. 
All right, you ready? Let's read it again. First Samuel. Hey, eyes up here, guys. Eyes up here. Pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, let's read it together. Here we go. First Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you into our hands. That's how we win with God. All right, this one's probably a little bit harder for you guys to remember. Well, oh, Ari, Dad's calling you. Go ahead. That's it, Dad. Go. And you sit quietly. You guys, I might have to split you up next time. You guys are mucking around. Okay, so we got some games today. All right, so let's stand up. Christine's got some games for us. We're going to go over here. Make sure you're paying attention to Christine. 